Hello fellas, today on the table is a Hitachi Rotary Hammer Drill You can see that it's a DH28PCI And now it's plug it on, so I will try to turn it on Some plastic pieces I will try to insert that a little bit and okay, it's not holding a little bit. I will check if it hammers. It hammers but the bit is stuck. Okay. So the good part of that is that we know that the motor, the switch and so on is working. And I can see the problem in a tool holder is all clearly round and it's replaced. For that we need to start the assemble. And I will start from the little bit holder. Just removing the rubber cap. Of course it's dirt inside here goes the spring ring I have special pliers for the spring rings like that, Knipex, you can see the part number, item number. Of course you can remove this ring with a screwdriver. The ring is all greasy and dirty. Now we have the plastic cover and the bowl. Normally the ball must be here and the ball holds the drill bit but not only the hole it's uh, two pins inside of the <coughs> tool holder okay, I'm still removing the ball the washer with the groove for, for the ball spring and of course a lot of grease with dust it looks yummy okay now we need to <coughs> Remove the knob, and if I could remember, we need to press it down this maybe side. Yep, pressing it. Okay, repeating. Pressing it down, turning. It got a little bit deeper. Turning it, releasing, turning, pressing down, releasing, and I think. Yeah, pressing it again or not, cannot remember very good, as long as I'm now, just got it out, you can see the way switch must go, here, here and here. Of course we have our switch, now I will unscrew the four screws holding the motor housing and hammer housing together. I want to separate them for easy to assemble. Four 
screws, big screws. I will check if I will be able to take it without the armature. No. Okay, got it with the armature, the brushes left hand side, pop it in. That's not a big problem for us. Now we can see that the armature here has a strange plate. I have assembled this model very, very long time ago, maybe four or five years ago, so I don't remember everything about it. Trying to push the tool holder, and of course, we have a lot of grease here. We have the spring inside. can see here just take it out and put it a part washer and we have the nice feature for the gear to fit if I good to remember it will pop out when I will hit the housing yep Sometimes this is stuck inside or the corners are damaged. Now this one looks, looks good and it goes on this gear. Okay, housing we have the ball bearing inside. Of course we need to clean all the housing inside and wash it. Now our tool holder. Uh, mode changer, we have the pledge here, most of the time you can see the damage here on the corners, now it looks good, taking the parts out, the gears, but of course it's better to inspect all the parts after washing them. need to be cleared. What we have here, we have the washer. Now it's our cylinder and the swash bearing with the two screws holding it. Right, and screw them. Okay, maybe not only two screws. What we have here? No. Okay. Just cleaning it will be nicer to touch it. You can deep, uh, remove the armature and dip all the parts into the gather line of something, clean it with the parts washer if you have it, and then deassemble it. But you will leave it again after the assemble. Okay, now we have the, the hammering, and we can see that the armature spins our shark here. Very good. I will try to use bug driver. Yep. Got it screws. Now taking it out, you 
can see the gear. Of course, we need to inspect it if it's not damaged. This one looks good. The bearing here looks good. The swatch bearing, not wobbles. And the acid of swatch bearing looks very good. So I will put all this part to the washer. Aluminum cylinder. Put the striker inside. We can feel the compression, that's a good sign. Yep. I don't know if you hear those sound or not. Popped. So we have the O-ring on it. Of course the striker itself. There goes the part washer, the aluminum cylinder. We have a connection pin here and two washers. You can see they are good if they are not broken. Aluminum cylinder goes to the washer. And we will inspect it later to check if it's not scratched outside and inside. Okay, one of the things we have is the armature we have here. We have two screws here. So I cannot remember if I will push the armature out or not without unscrewing that screws. But of course, I will try to do that. I will just punch it, try to punch it. Sorry if not got that on a camera because it's hard for me to regulate the angles because of my table setup. Okay, now the cover for the armature winding and so on. Of course, I think it's anti vibration technology. Okay, it's almost clean. It still can be put to the parts washer. The armature itself, just checking ball bearings, nice and solid ball bearings. So that's a good part for us. Okay, now we have this one, and I have not assembled it previously, I think. bit for it maybe this yeah yep it's anti vibration technology and Okay, so if it was here, yeah, this one probably was somewhere here or something. I don't know, I will figure it out later. Yeah, but it's anti vibration technology, and it looks a little bit strange for me. Let's say it's a rubber. Maybe somewhere here or here. This part goes to the parts washer. We have the oil sealing here and the bearing. I will leave them here for the washing. Excuse. 
now goes our most funny part with a lot of grease. When the assembling primer drills, it's always a lot of grease. <laughs> can see here we have the pins here it's for the spring we have the gear with the clutch I think the spring the washer and the holding ring so we need to remove the holding ring here with the stretching pliers I will take this ones Of course, be careful, the spring can push everything out. Okay. We have the ring. The washer got stuck on the groove. Okay. The washer, the spring, the gear, the other part, I don't know how to call it, and we have small pins here okay the small pins so four of them I will put them to the washer and I hope I will not lose them the spring and the other parts of course goes to the washing machine Now it's our tool holder, we will start to see the problem soon. Now we cannot see the tweet, it's a striker inside and we need to remove it. We have the spring ring inside the cylinder and I will try to, rem try to remove it. With a simple screwdriver, a flat screwdriver. But before that, I will try to punch all the parts down to release the pressure if we have it, of course, on the spring ring. So just taking the puncher. And hammering the outer ring. It will be easier like that. Okay, now I will try to take out the spring ring here. Sometimes it can be done easily, sometimes not, it's uh, like lottery. Can get it with the screwdriver. I'll try a bigger one. Yep, it seems that the Spring ring is moving from one side to the other side. Yep, now is the spring ring potted from the It, but cannot take it out. Okay, now got it with my pliers. And now I will try to move it. Maybe I will 
damage the spring green, but it's a cheap part to replace. Okay, of course, damage it. I don't know why it's stuck so hard. Okay, now our parts here. Yep, and I can see that the inner ring of the tool holder here was cracked, so still need to be replaced. It. Now about our door problem, you can see that it's uh, around inside, and we cannot see the two pins here. And normally the two pins goes here, the grooves here on your SDS plus drill. And it prevents the that drill bit from turning around or stucking in the tool holder. So of course this one needs to be replaced. Now we can check for the other parts, the striker here. It has the small bump here, so we can consider replacing it. Towards the part here, you have the o ring. We need to check if it's not cracked. That's not cracked. It's uh, some kind of o ring, and it must have been not cracked. Now it's good. It's a metal piece, we will wash them. The, okay, this part yep, looks to be good. The Spring green needs to be replaced, so we need to replace the tool holder and uh, the spring ring. Now we will open the motor housing, of course, removing the dust cover. We can inspect that uh, the field looks good or not. We know that it's working and it looks good, so that's very good. It's nothing too much. Okay, now what we can see here, we can see the carbon brushes. And I will try to lift them gently from both sides. Sometimes the plastic here just cracks. Removing the brushes, you can see that the brushes replace it. Very simple. We got the second brush out. Of course, we have some dust here. And we will clean it, I think. Yeah, you can see where the wires from the field goes here to the switch. And honestly, it's no need to assemble it. It's only uh, concrete or something dust, so I will blow it with the air and clean it easily. So we know that the motor is good. Just need to be clean it a little bit. And the tool will be good to use again after changing the mechanical part. Okay, good replacement part for this Hitachi hammer and I have a tool holder, the cylinder, this one's new. The old one goes to recycle. We have the oil seal, the hammer holder, o-ring, Striker or the hammer and springing. We can see the difference in the striker. This one is old, this one is new, and we can see that this have the bump here. This one is flat. So the old one, I will throw it away. The O ring for the striker here. 
just putting it on the striker to not lose it. Bearing assemble. And first of all, I need to put the put the oil sealing in the tool holder, so I will just throw it in and slightly press it. trying to not to damage it we'll hammer it gently And I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, now it's in the place. And okay, so now we have the hammer holder. The group here must be up now to the hammer. Normally I'm using the spare part view and assembling the tools like this and I can see that the 26 part it's oil sealed, 27, then goes and we'll find the part. Yep, then goes this part. And it goes like that. Then we have the hammer. one and the rubber ring so you made the wrong part here <coughs> Here, here, yep, found the O ring, and okay, <clears throat> as you can see, the part looks like this. This one this the O ring and here goes the hand. Yep. Now we have all the parts here and I need to insert them into the tool holder. I will use some grease here. And we will hope that I will insert all the parts from the first time. Just putting them on my finger and trying to push to the cylinder. It seems that parts it's in a place. Okay, now I can see the group for the spring ring gonna get a good light for it the group is here i need to get the spring ring in it so i will try to knock the parts a little bit with the hammer maybe they will go a little bit 
more forward. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay. Now it's time for the springing, just pushing it down with my finger, then using the pliers. Now we need to spin it, spin it like that. It was like here, you can see, and I'm just flipping it, press it down, and Gently, you can use the same aluminum cylinder to press the ring down, and we can see that it's now pressed almost to the parts. We need to be it in a groove here, so you can hammer it, you can uh, try to press it on the vise or something, or I will try to use a screwdriver and just make it go in the place. Sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes not. And now it's not going to go down. I will try the biggest screwdriver. Okay, one side, I got one side. Now I will try to get to the other. We can see that uh, my screwdriver and the spring ring here. So now I will put the bigger screwdriver and press it. Yeah, it seems that the spring ring is in a place, both sides in a groove. Of course, we can check if the hammer here is moving. Normally, it's moving. Okay, that was one of the tricky parts, and now I think we need to go to the housing. And I'll just open up a spare part view for this one. Okay, we have the Wash bearing here. We have all the clutch parts, the striker for the aluminum cylinder. So I will just put a grease here. And just insert the striker. You can see that some grease got out from the hole. That's a good sign. We'll just lubricate the o-ring and the striker. And I will leave them for now here. Okay, you can see that the swash bearing must be here. The aluminum cylinder must be here. We need to find pin for the cylinder and two washers yeah, we have them now we need to get the washers here on the sides of the cylinder and pin connected with it so just putting a small amount of grease here the grease will hold washers Now we have the washers on the sides of the cylinder, the pin in the middle with a hole. And put some grease here. Maybe some grease here. And of 
Okay, again, checking the spare parts view. Okay, I think I can put the parts here. So I need to get the swatch bearing pin here. So just making sure that the pin is in the right position. it okay, now it seems a little bit wobbly just when I will screw it it will look good screws maybe this one the bigger ones this in and as the spoiler bearing will move the, the cylinder will move and the strike and all the hammering action will go on okay now we can try to assemble the other parts like gears and so on so I need to find yeah, this part and the washer for it and we can see it goes the washer the gear and they can fit each other as you can see okay I'm not sure about the spring it will go for the part this part, yeah, the future. Okay, we have the washer here. I will try to put some other parts. We have the spring, we have the gear here. And then we need to put this part, and of course, not forget the washer. Okay, sometimes it's easier to do it another way. Okay. Now I got it in place. Just need to get it on an assy. Okay, you can see that the gear now is not aligned, of course. I think we will align it by just spinning around. Okay, got it. So it looks really nice. Now I want to do the part on the cylinder. Okay, now goes our cylinder. We have the gear with the bombs here. We have four pins. They are not very easy to take from the magnetic plate. The four pins, so we need to put the four pins here. I will use the grease for that again. Okay. 
and just putting the pin in place with the grease. And of course taking the gear up here. Yep. Okay, so we have everything in a place here. Now yeah, we can put the gear here. We can see the same teeth like on this gear. Then goes our spring. On the spring we need to push the washer and now we need to check what washer goes here as they are old washers from the VR interior I think that this one they are pretty the same yeah looks the same on the side so now we need to press everything down and take the spring ring we can do that do that on a wise or we can try to press it to the plates or something you can press the spring a little bit then put a screwdriver or something similar here to get everything hold it up and press it out it's uh, it's how you do it just how you can do it okay the plate here normally I'm pressing it like this and putting the ring here we can check if I can press it like that so I will put the folding ring here And now what I need to do is to press everything down. Now I'm taking my plate here. We can put some grease inside. Okay, and don't forget the washer here. And I will put some grease here in the washer place. Now we can try to connect the bar here and check how they looks. It looks not bad, I think. Okay, so my O ring. Now I'm checking what more needed to be in a housing okay I think this spring must be here we have the housing and I have the gear it must go in the um, ball bearing okay so now we will try to assemble the, the drill I think and the tricky part will be the spring I think so I will put the spring here in the housing like that I will put some grease on it it will help to hold the spring in place
Right, now I like it. Can check that the spring not getting out. Now as we hope that we put all the parts here, can grease it. Okay, we have greased it. Now double check if the spring is you know placed. Um, okay, and trying to close the housing. Yep. Got it very smooth here. Okay, maybe not very smooth here because we can see that the spring is not in a part. It need to be. I put it in the wrong side just turning it out okay yeah, now we can see the this part here and we can see the gear here it's moving yep this part so I can try to put the mode button back The pin was here. If the pin is here, I need to get the this plate higher. Let's pop it back. I good here from the sound. Yep. So I'm trying to hold the the plate here up to get the pin inside. Hammering mode is on, the drilling and the hammering mode is on, and it will be good to spin it, and the drilling mode is on. So, for now, it looks good. Now, we need to get to the integration system here. Checking the spare parts view and here yep, I can see that uh, rubber. This rubber must go here. Maybe like that. It was something like glue it. Then. Rubber here, and yeah, I think it will go like that. Just double checking it. Yep, seems like that's so rubber here. Then, yep. Getting the screws in, really small screws.
Now I will finish it with my drill. If the armature is not going easily, you can punch it, just punch on the acid, not on the ball bearing. You can spin it, check if the winding not touching anything. I hope it was like that. I think, yep. Of course, it's always good to check the spare part view. Yep, it was like that. Okay. Now time for connecting the motor housing with the hammer housing. It was the four screws here. And keep putting the brush in, connecting it, and stowing. It's very uh, many of the wires. Here's the place where the brush connects with the wire. Let's put it in here on the gap. the direction changing mode button okay the tool is almost completed just checking how the wires will fit here okay I'll try to close the handle It. The bottom is working. The hub here seems okay. No, we do not have the gaps. Looks not bad really. Now we can try to turn it on for the first time. It's spin. Yeah, to the both directions. Now we need to put the holder parts here, so it goes the spring, it goes the washer, the ball here, the cover, and now it's time for the spring ring to hold the cover.
and the rubber cap. Yep, it goes the bit. Just checking the hammering again. Back again, and as I touch it, will really run strong. 